If you're a fan of Superman, then don't go away and watch this video. Okay guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to do a simple paint job of these 3D printed parts. Um, what we have here is a kind of a vintage Superman bust that I find on the internet. Uh, the guy who made this is called David Ostman. I will put down the link below. Go check his amazing work out. As a start, we are going to glue everything together, hide the seams, spray everything with this uh, spray putty. This is, um, it's not a primer, it's much thicker and it sands easy and, and quickly. So you don't have to, you know, be busy for hours sanding everything away. This stuff is awesome. And at the very end, um, because this is of course the man of steel, I'm going to try to give it a metallic uh, weathered look. At least that's the idea. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's a little update. Um, after applying several coats of the uh, putty spray, I started with some, uh, you know, 150 grit sandpaper and I ended with, uh, I think it was 800. So everything now is just uh, smooth and, and cleaned up. So it's ready to get painted. Um, just at the look of it, you don't even recognize it anymore that this is a 3D printed object. The color that I'm going to use is gray aluminum metallic. It's a little bit darker than a normal aluminum, which uh, I hope will give me that uh, metal uh, you know, look. And afterwards, we are going to use the famous shoe polish as a wash and uh, weathering it and, and yeah we'll see how it uh, goes from there so let's continue
Okay guys, we are almost at the end of this video and here it is, it's finished. As you can see, I put on my special suit. Unfortunately, I am not Superman, I am not made of steel, but this guy is. I'm very glad with the result and the look is, is so realistic. Although I have to admit that I was a little bit afraid because of the spray paint and in combination with the shoe polish, um, yeah, both are products to give your products a shine, but it turned out just fine. I really enjoyed making this and painting it, maybe for some of you in Aimbot, but I enjoyed myself and that's just the main focus. And maybe I could inspire others to do the same. I hope you all enjoyed watching my video and if you have some comments, please put them down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do it right now as usual I'm going to leave you with some epic cinematic footage of the end result and I will see you all of course in another video Diorama Builders signing out